Hi, it's Lori, Yarn Chair Chef. I have yarn shopping. It's not Mr. Yarn Madness. Um, I went to Michael's. And I decided that if I go to the Hobby Lobby clearance and get like the dollar yarn things, or I go to the Michael's clearance and I get the $2 yarn or the $3 yarn, then that's kind of an investment in my reselling it to other people who might like it, might like to have it, um, because either they can't get it in their area, they can't afford it. I have my the second person that I met at the grocery store where I go, both of them crochet. I just was talking to one today and she crochets lap gowns and donates them. I'm like, okay, maybe I should start doing this. I lap gowns not hard, right? I did one. I made one for my dad. So, um, and what did I use? I used a anniversary cake and I didn't use the whole thing and I made a lap gown. Oh, almost all of it, but if I did go ahead and use the whole thing, it'd be a little bigger lap gown, but you know. I didn't want him tripping over it because he has trouble walking. So I made it a little bit shorter so that it would just go like from his lap down to like uh, not over his feet. I didn't want it too far. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought, let me go to Michael's. So I did two today and I went to two Michael's and I ended up buying, I already weighted 20 pounds of yarn and it was about hundred and ten dollars so that's about what I'm getting for it it's like so I basically would will break even if I sell that in a mystery box I'll break even I'm not losing money so um, because I'm not charging a lot my boxes are very very reasonable I was looking at some other stuff out there and yeah but I'm fine with it I, you know how much yarn I've gotten rid of? A hundred sales times three? That's, a hundred sales times three is 300. That's 300 pounds of yarn. That's a lot of yarn. I just bought 20 pounds. See, I'm not, I'm getting rid of more than I'm bringing back. But anyway, let's get into the yarn. Thank you for coming to watch. Um, I did not buy any $5 yarn today. I only bought the $2 and the dollar yarn if I found any. And um, so, I found more of my recycled yarn and I got the solids this time. This is the, um, the Echo Cozy Watercolors from the Recycled Plastic. Now, can you guys have, this has been out there on sale for a long time. I'm not liking this. I have, I'm apprehensive on what to do with it and what to use it for. Have any of you bought this and actually done anything with it yet? Um, made anything? Can you guys show me or, or post a picture, post a video, or tell me somebody that's made something with it? Um, to me, it looks like winter. But it's not wool, it's plas plastic. Oh, what is this, a knot? I've got knotty plastic. Ooh, look at that. I found a knot. Okay. Doesn't smell weird. But I don't normally smell my yarn. So I did get, at this store I got five of these. I just, this was the one where I was digging around in the bin and I just went digging and I got everything that had a label on it and they had so much of that roving stuff but I don't know what to do with it I don't really want it I have a whole tub of roving right there that I got at Hobby Lobby last year and a couple this year I don't know what to do with it probably baskets I'll probably make like a bed for the dog or something because I seen Crystal had that dog bed that she made well for her, for her it was a well no it was a dog bed she has a little dog now um, or, or for the cat, but I might be able to use that. But what I see is the dog's nails getting caught in it and ripping it because it's roving. So I'm really not sure what to do with it. 
if I could use it unless somebody wants it. I I don't know. It's so cheap right now. You can go buy your own for two dollars at the at Michaels. They have bins and bins of that stuff. That's all that's left now because I bought the rest. So I got five of these pink ones. So I'm gonna put those in there. I did get. I think I only got whoop. I think I only got one. Well, anyway, here's one of the purple ones. This would be the Orchid Mist. I really like this one. I want to make something with this. This is really pretty. Now, would these do blankets, or would this be best for wearables, winter wearables? Because this seems like it would be very, I don't know, it's in the middle of summer, it's 100 degrees, and I'm hot, so nothing looks comfortable. So that's probably where my mind's at right now. Yeah, I'm not thinking poncho right now at all. I'm thinking, get me out of anything I'm wearing. So, that's Orchid Mist. Um, oh, this one. I love this one. The one with the purple and the yellow. I really like that one in the gray. This would be the Water Lily. Yeah, I really like this one. I have a bunch of these, but it's purple. I like purple. And I have the donut. The Ogo Big Donut with the purple and the yellow. Oh, you know pillows. I have a lot of pillow forms that I've bought because I thought, well, if pillows are small, I could make pillows. These could make good pillows too. And let's see, that was another water lily. And this would be the spring meadow. I know I have some of those, very pretty. And I did find a bright one. This was Sunset. Very pretty. This one, I don't know how many of these I have. This is the brown and the purple and the blue. Mountain View. I don't think I have a lot of those. This one I did pick up a bunch because this is the one at Lakeside. Nope, Lakeshore, but same, similar, similar, same but different. That's what my son used to say. It's the same but different. Okay, that's one bag. I'm just going to do them all. Um, this is the other store for the same. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I picked up other things. That was in the bin. Was that the, yeah, that was the stuff that was in the big bin. Now, I went to another store. And I'm finding out all this je, Craft Smart Jacquard. I asked the lady, she asked her manager, are they discontinuing this completely or are they going to be getting it back in? And this is just old stock because I told her, I, I told her that I have some that I'm doing projects with and I really don't want to run out. So I'm buying up all that I can find because I'm worried it's going to be discontinued. She said they're going to be remodeling, re redoing their yarn departments. I said, really? You took away two aisles. What are you going to redo? Huh? You going to make it bigger? But they are. They're, they, they have a lot of yarn that's going. All their Karen cakes are on sale. Their baby yarn's on sale. Those are $5. I'm not buying $5 yarn. I just bought two cakes because I thought they were very pretty. Um... But I'm not buying $5 yarn. I could. I could go buy tons of latte cakes to give away. But that's $5. I, I have yarn already I can give away. So, um, yeah, it is beautiful. But I have a lot. I have a whole... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I have a whole thing of cakes already. And I still have some in my room. So, um, not buying any cakes for 5 bucks Now, if they go down lower again, $3... I'm all over it. So I did get some of the Jacquard. This is the Cityscape. Um, there was two of those. Okay, I believe there was two of those at this store, but there could be more in the bag. Um, I got that. There was some more of the Arizona, which this kind of worked up, looks kind of funky, but I did make, I think I did make a 
make something with this just to see what it looked like. And it's okay. It's just kind of splotchy. And um, not my favorite. It doesn't have purple in it. So, you know. But yeah, the Arizona have more of those. Um, there's another one that was a little bit messy, but I got it anyway. Um, this one they had for $2. It was a stripe. It was the last one. This was um, River Gorge. Very pretty. I didn't see this at the other stores. I didn't see any stripes on sale. But this was either one or two dollars. So I got this one. Um, these were marked down to what, one or two dollars. I don't remember exactly. I was just grabbing everything. <laughs> This is the Impeccable Speckle. And this one is in a gray that almost looks like it has a green in it. In this, doesn't it look like it has a green in it? Under that light? Otherwise it looks all completely gray. It's 100% acrylic. It says gray. But it in this light here, and the store light, it looks like there's green. Um, it's a 4, and it has... 160 yards and right now I have three of them but I think I ended up with more than that so um, this is a nice neutral color to add with something else for winter maybe and I got more of the um, the value tweed there's purple this one had three balls so I picked up three of this one because I remember before I've gotten the red and the mustard and somebody was using the mustard in a project so she wanted that so um, I sent her that and so they had the purple I thought ah purple would be good I like the purple this would be, be good for the um, this is this would be good for winter these are really really wound almost like a um, what do they call that the, you know wound really really anyway I, I can't think right now it's very late It'd be bedtime, except I've been drinking a lot of soda and not really tired. I did open up one of these, though. It's like, um, it's Utah, so it's 4% alcohol. Sparkling Agua Fresca. Like mango. And who makes this? I don't know if this was by one of the... Golden Road Brewing Company. It says Calif it has a picture of California. So, um, yeah, Golden Road. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's 110 calories. It's kind of fruity, but I also have one that's a lime, like a lemon lime. And I think that one's the one I like better, but. doesn't have one of that nasty alcohol tastes. It's kind of fruity. Excuse me. And this is the first time I bought any of this. I have not bought any of this while it's been on sale. These, because it's really, really big and bulky. But I'm going out again to a couple more Michaels stores. And if I find any more of this, I'm going to get it. Because this, if I get a bunch of it, I could do squares. Or I could do uh, chevron, zigzag, with these. And I think that would make a very cool blanket to do zigzags with all these. That would be really cool. Um, it's only 82 yards. So you really would need a lot of these. And um, at $2... I think I can do that. So I think I, I'm going to go ahead and get some. Um, it shows a hat, which would be cool too. Because there's a girl, what is it? Um, it's, it's she, she, is it sheepishly? All she does is work with big bulky stuff. She makes, she makes her own hooks and they're huge. They're like, like that big round. And I watch her channel and she just, she only crochets with really big stuff and she makes her hooks 
and this could be something. I think she does bigger stuff than this, but she does projects, and I bet this is the kind of yarn, the size that she uses. So I'm like, that would be great, because then I could actually make some of the projects she has. So I did get two of this color, which is a really nice rainbow color. It's a seven jumbo. And it, the sign said everything that was $9.99 was $2. So there was some stuff there that was $11.99. So I'm like, hmm, you're trying to fool me into getting that. But they had a lot of the pink, and I didn't really want just the bright pink. So I got these. And then I got this one, the one with the purple and the pink. This was... I just call that one rainbow. It's over there now, so I can't I can't check. Um, what the heck? Psychedelic purple. Okay. All right. Got three of those. So now I have two more. Another Michaels, I went, and this one had a lot of... <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I saw a big number, and I said, I didn't buy nothing that big. She just did multiples. I bought all they had. They had a lot of these. The Bluebell, they had eight of these, so I got all of them since they're going to be getting rid of everything, I decided to get it all. And, um, so, we got eight of those bluebells. Because people are telling me they can't find this in their part of the country. And I can understand that because it's, uh, $2 some places, and it really works up very nice. So people are probably buying it. So, now I went to another store. Let me move this out. And this is the last bag. It was two stores, so it was one or the other. I picked up some more of this stuff. Oh, this is the one I was digging around in the bin because, yeah, some of these were a little loose from being handled a lot. So I did get some of the blue one. This is a bell bottom blue. Okay, Mama G, is that bell bottom blue? You tell me. Because I know you'll know. <laughs> I'm sure you wore bell bottoms too. <laughs> Let me put them in this bag. I dated a guy. He wore the biggest bell bottoms he could get because he was a football player and he had big thighs, so he would wear the big bell bottoms. And uh, yeah, it was hard to find him after a while when skinny pants came in. Alrighty, this must be another uh, psychedelic purple. And another pink? No, this is magenta blooms. Um, this one has green in it. This one's really pretty. Uh, pop art. So that when I go to my next couple stores tomorrow, or later today actually, I am going to get more of this. And um, because this, all of these would look really cool. See, uh, does talking about crocheting count as crocheting? Because I, talk, I can talk about it a lot. Um, I can see myself doing it in my head. It's just sitting here and doing it just doesn't appeal to me as much as going and buying the yarn. Really, it doesn't. But I promise I will do some. Pastel Peace. That's pretty. I never looked at the names of these before. That one's really nice. Pastel. And then there was a gray one. This was... <sighs> to the Moon Gray. To the Moon. That is a Honeymooners reference. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. And I got more of these gray 
that um, flex the impeccable speckle. Got more of those. Um, and there was some more tweed. I did get a gray one. Only one? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. There was a gray one. Um, and this store had a lot of the mustard. So I ended up with, I think, six of those. They had a lot of it. So I just got them all because apparently they're going to be redoing their yarn sections. At least that's what the lady said or the manager told her. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six maybe. Those. And there was another bluebell, Jacquard. Um, there's a watercolor in the pink, which is rose water. And I found this store had a lot more of the purple, the purple tweed. So I've got more of that and that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was eight of those. So I got all of those and now the sugar and cream was a dollar. Most of them were really well picked over. They weren't all marked, but I was able to find two at one of the stores in this brown color, which is called Earth Ombre. So I've got two in that brown color. So that was it for Michael's for today. And that was 20 pounds of yarn. So that's not bad for what, $100, I guess. It was about 100-ish, 110. Yeah, I'd have to do math, and I just can't think right now. I'm really kind of, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've been cleaning again, reorganizing some stuff. Um, I have a lot of food tastings to do. I've been, I separated the food tastings into bags. I got about seven bags. I can't believe I've had food sitting here that long, and I haven't eaten it. So, um, yeah, I got to start doing that. Um, so, like I said... You'll see me wear the same things because when I do those food tastings, I'm going to do them all at the same time, get them over with, and put everything up. I'll have a week's worth of videos done from just one sitting, seven sittings at the table. Peek beside, behind the curtain is what that is. That's how it works. So, okay. Check this out. <laughs> She's chewing on Yoda Bunny. I'm so excited. I'm very happy. I think she's happy too. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Um, that's the yarn I've got on this trip. I'm going to be right back. Um, yeah, I don't know when this is going up. I know you guys like to see the yarn, so I'll probably put that up before I put up the food. Um, and I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to go to bed, get up, and I'm going to... My plan is to go to a couple more Michaels today to see if I can restock a few things, some of this stuff. Some of this big stuff. So I'm, I'm getting ideas for this. So I, I want to go check out that lady's site and see what she has for this real thick yarn. I think it's it would be really, really cool to mix all these colors in a blanket or something. So, um, okay. Thanks for watching. And um, I will see you. I'll see you again. Bye.